and we're here looking for the tank graveyard. <laughs> and giving George and Ringo a walk at the same time. So up ahead there I can see something glinting. I'm hoping it's the the first of several armoured vehicles that we'll see here in the dunes. Looks quite shiny, doesn't it? Can you see it? Let's just zoom in. Film, filming into the sun. Definitely looks like it. Come on then, Ringo. <laughs> George. Yeah, come on. It's difficult to say what's dunes and what's craters, because presumably there must have been. Well, it was a firing range, so. a lot of the holes are shell crater. Yeah, yeah, no, it's like, a, like the surface of the moon. Well, looking forward to reaching the first of the tanks. Because we promised ourselves we're going to have our picnic when we get there. And this is definitely looking like the turret of a Sherman. Beautiful day today, end of January, barely a breath of wind, beautiful warm sunshine. There's definitely a sort of a microclimate here at the top of the Cherbourg Peninsula. We drove past a lot of palm trees on the way here and look, here we got it, look. Here it is. Definitely an M4 Sherman. It's got bullet holes in it. Half of the turret. And the engine's it still here, look. The radial engine's still there. Well, welcome back to Normandy. With me, Patrick Hillier. And we're here on the dunes of Biville, at the top of the Cherbourg Peninsula. Um, you've got uh, the nuclear power station at Flamanville, just on the horizon there. Cherbourg's about 12 miles to the north and we're here in about 600 hectares around about uh, oh I don't know 1500 acres or something like that of these incredible ancient dunes they've been here for about 10,000 years apparently now it's a nature reserve and there are 183 species of flora and fauna here and it's uh, been like that since 2012 prior to that it was a shooting range or an artillery ground for the French Territorial Army and Navy. And uh, we're here today to find some tanks because it's basically a tank graveyard. Uh, echoes of the past of uh, 1944 are left here in the dunes because there are three Sherman tanks, uh, two half tracks, two N3 half tracks, an M8 armoured car and a couple of French Pompon Panard tanks. So we've uh, we found the first one when we just left the car park. And if you can just see over my left shoulder there, there's another turret poking up over the dunes. I think, I think that's a Sherman tank, so we're gonna go and have a look at that now. And we're here with the dogs. Come on, Ringo. And George. And Nikki. So the town of 
Beville was liberated by the 60th, the American 60th Infantry Regiment, part of the 9th Infantry Division, commanded by General Manton Eddy. Around about the 20th of June, I think, they liberated the, uh, the town of La Ag, just north of here as well. And you can see here, this is what I'm calling Sherman number two, because we've already, already seen the first tank uh, not too far from the car park. And now we're a good half a mile or a mile from civilization. And we see another Sherman. George is going to uh, make his mark on it, perhaps. Let's see. That's a 75 millimeter cannon. Is aiming right at me. Pretty well preserved since they've been used as tar for target practice for many decades. Firing fi finally came to a halt here in 2012. So it's uh, nearly 10 years this has been a nature reserve. You can see there's a picture, piece, of the, uh, piece of the track there in the sand. And number one tank, we saw the engine was still in place. As Bits of uh, bits of steel here. Obviously, the uh, souvenir hunters haven't been in and stripped everything, which is great. And this one, the hull and the turrets and the barrel are all pretty much intact. Well, what do you think, George? Should we go and find another one? Here we are at Sherman number three. Like Sherman number one, you can see the engine still here. A radial petrol engine. has exploded in the breach and completely destroyed the barrel. So we're up on top of the hull. Seats are still in there. Let's see if we can get right up on top of the turret. There we go. So here we go. And here we are inside. The turret. Got a tiny. Yeah, you can see the drive shaft. The breach, that's the breach as a, as a gun barrel. There's the hole for the uh, machine gun. Wow. Okay, so we've just come over the top of the ridge here, and here's the fourth tank of the day. I looked at this one on Google Earth and thought it was a Sherman, but it's actually, I think, the, the Ponard, the French tank. There's supposed to be two of them here somewhere. Let's 
it looks like some sort of crazy contraption out of a Mad Max movie. You can see if all the fuselage is missing. There's a black and white checkerboard pattern on the front, presumably put there by the French army to make it uh, easier to spot for the target practice. And just over the next rise, we've got something else. See, I've got a bits, of, bits of steel just left in the sand here. Somewhere here, I'm not getting lost. Our fifth vehicle, this time not a tank. Where are we? It's typical, it's like I'm getting lost. Still, the dogs are enjoying themselves. To George. Ah, oh, there she is. So our fifth vehicle, just over there. Let's see what that is. There it is. That's American M3 half track right in the middle of what looks like a huge crater. So we've still got, to, still got to find some of the German bunkers. And from here, I've spotted something already. All the way over there. And this looks to me like a Sherman as well. I thought there were only three Shermans here. Is it? Yeah, you could be right, actually. Yeah, luckily I've got my military hardware expert with me. It is, actually. You're right, it's a Panhard. Panhard, Bonnard. This has got eight drive wheels, isn't it? There we go. It's definitely the same as the one, the previous one, isn't it? So this is vehicle number six. Well, the the, the um, what would you call them? The fenders in American. Yeah, uh, you know, there'd be something there'd be something above the suspension here. Oh, that's great, that. That's pom pom number two. Just make a note of that on the map. Now oh, this looks like another half track to me. Possibly a bit more intact. And the constructions you see are probably erected by the French army for their target practice. Definitely an M3 half track. Nice to see it in, a bit more intact than the previous one. Almost got up in the cab there. Oh, I'm 
marked that one on the map. So that's three Shermans, two Panhards, and two M3 half tracks. Okay, so we've made it as far as the coast. And here we are at the German artillery position, bunker. We could almost be back on Omaha Beach here, really. There you can see the sea and the uh, nuclear power station. That Cap de la Ag, is that it? Is it Cap de la Ag, the nuclear power station? And Flamonville, the yeah. reprocessing plant. We're right between, all right, well, we're right in between a reprocessing plant and a nuclear power station, but it's very pretty, apart from this, uh, this ugly bunker here and all the graffiti. I would have said that was a machine gun emplacement, but it's a big bunker to only have only has a single machine gun. Right? Let's go inside and see what we can see. Pretty well preserved. Oh no, there's a big niche there. For, oh, there we go. That must be the escape hatch. Quite modern, actually, that uh, bit of graffiti there. Vous cherchez les chats? Bon, on va à la plage. Bonne promenade. Et à vous? Ouais, nous on a trouvé des blocos sur la plage. Oui, il y en a pas mal. Ouais, ouais, ouais. <rire> non, il y en a plein. Hein. Bonne balade So, and they only just started looking for the tanks. Yeah. 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 Not difficult to spot, are they? So here we are on the beach. Gosh, it's beautiful, isn't it? That's the question, why is it there on the sand at that funny angle? Yeah, it would have been about, it would have been up here. Well, no, it's the, the, the coast is eroded and the dune, the dune gets eroded away and the bunker, no, it's, not, it's not moved left or right or front and back, it's just moved down. Well. Yeah. Another little one here. Still up in the dunes. It's like a water brook, maybe. Let's have a look. Yep. Little machine gun to brook, probably full of sand, I imagine. Full of sand and empty beer bottles. Oh. There we are. Les plages de Biville. Power station. 